may have noticed a small 8-bit Loch Ness monster displayed on the back of your camera. What is this thing, anyway? What's its purpose? Well, that small plesiosaur is actually your histogram, and it can be quite useful. A histogram is simply a graphical representation of the tonal values of a particular image. In other words, it shows the quantity of dark and bright values contained in your shot. The shape of the histogram changes depending on the exposure. Dark luminance values are shown on the left, while bright values are shown on the right. Let's take this image, for example. It's obviously underexposed. We can see that the histogram is pushed over to the left. This image is overexposed and, as a result, the histogram is squeezed over to the right. This image, however, is properly exposed and has a mixture of both dark, light, and mid-tones spread across the scale. Does this mean that you can tell if your image is properly exposed simply by looking at your histogram? Well, not always. In addition to exposure, the histogram also references specific tonal values of each color present in your shot. Let's take, for example, this image. It's exposed correctly, but there are no dark tones in the image, so the histogram is pushed over to the right. If we brought in a dark tone, such as this swing, we see a bump on the left-hand side emerge. The same can be said of an image taken at night. The histogram spikes to the left, but it is clearly exposed properly. Because of this, photographers don't generally use the histogram as strictly a reference to the exposure value, as this can be misleading. Rather, it is used most often to make sure they are not clipping. Values that touch either the left or right side of the scale have been clipped. Detail in these areas is lost and not recoverable. Values touching the right are too bright and will show up as absolute white. Values touching the left are too dark and will show up as absolute black. If clipping occurs, simply adjust exposure settings to compensate in the opposite direction. This will pull the lost tonal values away from the wall and ensure detail is not lost. So, be a good patron and check up on Nessie often to make sure she's doing okay.